Hi friends! Welcome to Beautifully Bookish Bethany. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about all of my reading plans for the month of May. So I have to tell you, May is my birthday month and because of that my goal is to read as many amazing books that I will love as possible. So in light of that endeavor I have decided that one of the vlog projects I'm going to be working on in May will involve reading books recommended to me by my patrons, books that they think I will love. So every month my patrons get a chance to vote on a book that we read together for book club. For the year of 2023 there are three months where patrons get to also suggest books that go on that list, right? So for their suggestions the prompt in May was a book that they thought I would love. Which like we're already winning, right? Because I'm getting a whole list from all my patrons of books that they particularly think I would enjoy. Love it. Then we did two rounds of voting on all those books because we got so many of them to decide which of those books would be our book club pick. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what our book club pick is, but I am also going to be picking from that list and from a couple of other places to put together a birthday reading vlog TBR for myself, from which I hope to find maybe a few new favorite books. That's that's what we're going for here. So first up, the book club pick for the month that everyone is reading together is Half a Soul by Olivia Atwater. This was originally put on my radar by Kara over at Wild Book Garden. She loved it and I'm really excited to read it. It's difficult to find a husband in Regency England when you're a young lady with only half a soul. There's somebody cursed by fairy, so this is a historical fantasy romance that is apparently pretty fun and sweet and I am really looking forward to it. So this is the first book on that list and it is the one that we are reading for Patron Book Club with a live show at the end of the month. But in addition to that I'm going to be reading the other most voted on books that made it to the final poll but didn't quite edge out half a soul. First up is Honey and Spice by Bolu Babalola. From what I know this is a contemporary romantic comedy. I think it's set in the UK following black immigrant characters. I don't know much more than that but people thought I would love it and it got voted on so we're gonna do that. Also on that list is The Cloud Roads by Martha Wells which I've been meaning to read for a while. I love The Murderbot Diaries by Martha Wells and this is the first book in a fantasy series from her that I hear great things about. Again I don't know too much about this to be honest. This copy was actually gifted to me by one of my patrons. Thank you to Beth from quite a while ago and I am now finally gonna pick it up for this reading vlog. Also I think this was the runner-up. It almost beat out Half a Soul but not quite but I am still gonna read it. Also on that list is a non-fiction title that I've been wanting to read for a while. This is Cultish, The Language of Fanaticism by Amanda Montel. I actually have the audiobook of this from Libra FM and I've been meaning to read it. It sounds really interesting. This I originally had on my radar because of Mara of Books Like Whoa who really liked it and it's about the way that cults and cult adjacent groups and religious groups use language. I'm fascinated by the premise and I definitely want to read it so now is going to be the time. I hope I'll love it. And then the final book from that poll is Bloodmarked by Tracy Dion. This is the second book in the Legendborn duology. I really enjoy the first book and I am hopeful that I will enjoy the second book as well so I'm planning on reading this. But in case that's not ambitious enough I do have two other books that I also am planning on reading for the purposes of this video just because I've really been wanting to read them and both of them were gifted to me by patrons. In fact one of them was gifted to me twice by two different patrons. So I clearly need to read it. That one is Ashes of the Sun by Django Wexler. I had two copies of this. I was like, okay, clearly the world is telling me I'm gonna love this. It's an epic fantasy. I think it's got at least one queer main character. So one of the people who sent it to me was Brianna from Four Paws in a Book. She said it was one of her favorites of last year and it was sold to her as gay fantasy Star Wars. I mean, that sounds excellent. So I think 
the world is telling me I need to read this. The last book going on my patrons pick my TBR video is The Lesbiana's Guide to Catholic School by Sonora Reyes. This was very kindly sent to me from Christopher, so thank you so much to them. I have been meaning to read this, and now I own a copy and I really need to. I heard about this from Ashley at Bookish Realm, and listen, a, a queer character dealing with being at a religious school, I, I hear good things. It was a National Book Award finalist. I feel like it's gonna be great. So yeah, I, I don't own physical copies of a couple of them, the, all, I just have the audiobooks, but I am hoping that with those books I will find at least a couple of new favorite books of the year like fingers crossed. I feel like that would be a fantastic way to spend my birthday month. But of course, because I'm me, that's definitely not all that's going on my TBR. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what I get to. These TBRs are all always tentative. We see what I can get to. I, you know, it is what it is. But I do have some other read-alongs and some of my higher tier patrons get the chance to suggest and vote on books that they want to see me do an exclusive reading vlog for. So eligible patrons and channel members get access to an exclusive reading vlog for a book every month. And the book for May, which I'm very excited about, I've got to tell you, is Tress of the Emerald Sea by Brandon Sanderson. I hear this is cozy fantasy. I love a good cozy fantasy and I feel like this is going to be my jam, so stay tuned. I will be doing a reading vlog for patrons and channel members in May. It's, it's going to be a good month, y'all. It's going to be a great month. Then I've got two read-alongs happening for Chapter 3 Podcast, which I co-host along with Leanna at Leanna's Library and Izzy from Happy For Now. Me and Izzy for the romance side are doing a read-along of the Dark Olympus series. And for May, we are reading Electric Idol by Katie Robert. This will be a reread for me. It is a retelling of Psyche and Eros. It's going to be a good time. We will have a live discussion of this on the podcast, so stay tuned for that. Then me and Liana on the fantasy side have been doing a read along of the Witcher series. So we're going to be reading The Time of Contempt by Anders Sapkowski, and we will have a live episode towards the end of May discussing this book. Lastly, for read alongs, of course, I'm doing the Circle of Magic read along, which is here on my channel. In May, we're reading book two, which is Triss's book. So join us. These are wonderful. Tamora Pierce is amazing. Yay. And then if that wasn't enough, I have books for review. I will say, because it's May, it's my birthday month, I'm kind of going to read what I feel like reading. And so if there are things that I just don't get to until June, there are things I just don't get to until June. But here are some things that I may pick up in May. Tor kindly sent me a copy of King Rat by China Mieville. This is his debut novel. And I've been curious to try something from him. He writes like literary speculative stuff. And this one says, it's a novel of a young man's search for identity mixed with a pulse-pounding story of revenge and madness set in London. I've never read anything from him before and I am curious and apparently this is in the Tor Essentials line so it has become something of a modern classic. So we'll see. I also might pick up A Song of Salvation by Alicia Dow. This is her latest YA science fiction novel. It's coming out in June, June 11th. The fate of the universe comes down to three people. Zyra, the god of creation reborn, Wesley the smuggler, Reuben, the wanted space podcaster. As an intergalactic war culminates on Earth, Zyra, Wesley, and Reuben are all that stand in the way of total destruction. It says it's a YA space opera of epic proportions with a page-turning plot and moving themes of self-discovery and found family set in the same world as her previous books. I really enjoy Alicia Dow's writing. It is cozy and fun and kind of tongue-in-cheek. Blends modern day with science fiction and I feel like this is going to be good. So I might pick this up. I also would really like to read The Archive Undying by Emma Mieka Candon. I like this is one of my favorite covers. I know I shouldn't judge a book by its cover and maybe it won't live up to the cover, but this is one of my favorite covers of the year, and I really want to love this. It says, War machines and AI gods run amok in this bold entry into the world of mecha fiction. When an AI dies, its city dies with it. When a city falls, it leaves a corpse behind. When that corpse runs off, only devotion can bring it back. So there's like a robotic god that went mad and killed its priests. I don't know. It sounds fun. So, uh, I also think it's queer. I'm excited. Looks fun. 
This one also comes out in June. Then for a romance, we have All the Right Notes by Dominic Lim. This is a queer romance that is supposed to be hilarious and joyous, following a genius piano player and composer in New York who dreams of being on Broadway and a pretty boy jock who he hasn't been able to forget and then it turns out they're supposed to perform together for a charity thing. I don't know, it sounds cute. I think it'll be fun. Oh, and I guess I should say goes on sale June 6th. The final physical book on my TBR for May is St. Juniper's Folly by Alex Crespo. I'm very excited for this. I hope it's it's what I imagine. It's going on sale May 23rd and it says Cemetery Boys meets the haunting of Bly Manor. So it's a southern gothic YA haunted house mystery by a trans author with trans characters. It sounds great. This sounds right up my alley so. I think I'll love it. Then y'all I have like a bunch of stuff. <laughs> then of course I have a bunch of stuff from Neck Alley, most of which I probably won't get to because that is how things are going, but we'll see. We'll see what we can do. I have an audio review copy of A Crown of Ivy and Glass by Claire Legrand. This is her first adult fantasy romance that is inspired by a ballet, I believe. I think Giselle, if I'm not mistaken, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I also have You're Not Supposed to Die Tonight by Kaylin Barron, which is like a queer horror thriller of some sort. <laughs> I don't really know. It looked good. Similarly, we have The Chaperone by M. Hendricks. I think this was a gothic horror thriller. I don't know. Some of these I'm just like, yes, that sounds good. Give it to me. And I don't remember exactly what it's about, but it sounded really good. Oh, I have an arc of silver nitrate by Sylvia Miranda Garcia, who is one of my favorite authors. And I'm, I am sure I'm going to love this. It's another horror novel with like old school Hollywood stuff of some sort, I think. Camp Damascus by Chuck Tingle, which I'm excited for. Another horror novel about a religious, like, sort of pray the gay away camp. <laughs> Y'all, it's gonna be something. Um, then we've got A Benny Song by P. Jelly Clark, which is his first middle grade book, and it's a fantasy, and it looks delightful. Jessica Goodman has a new YA mystery thriller out called The Legacies, which also looks fun. I, I love a good juicy elite mystery thriller for YA. I think that's fun. And then lastly, I've got Their Vicious Games by Joelle Wellington. A black teen desperate to regain her Ivy League acceptance enters an elite competition only to discover the stakes aren't just high, they're deadly. In the searing thriller that's Ace of Spades meets Squid Game with a sprinkling of The Bachelor. I mean, if that doesn't sound awesome, I don't know what to tell you. So there are a lot of very exciting things. I am not going to get to all of this in May, but you know, but you know what? That's okay because some of it I will read in June and hopefully because I'm really going to be prioritizing reading what I feel like reading, I will be quicker to DNF and quicker to find favorites. That is the goal. The goal is to find some new amazing favorite books in May and not read things that I'm not enjoying. I probably will also have a fun video or short about what I'm actually doing for my birthday. So stay tuned for that. I have fun plans. I'm excited. I think it's going to be a good month. Talk to me in the comments down below. Let me know any of your thoughts or feelings on anything I talked about in this video. And for question of the day, okay. Oh no. Am I going to regret this? I might regret this, but it's okay recommend a book to me that you think I would love. It, if you've been watching this channel for a while or any length of time and you feel like you have a vibe of what my taste in books is, what I love, what I don't, if there's a book that you're like, Bethany, I think you would love this book. This is so you. Leave a title and like brief descriptions and tropes in the comments down below. That would be lovely. Thank you all so much. If you like this video, it always helps if you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.